Hi, my name's Lee, and <coughs> I just coughed. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be going over my, I guess, say, final thought impression. And that was my phone going off of New Speed the Run. I've been playing it for, like since it came out now, and I've got a good grasp on it, so I'm pretty confident in what I'm going to say. If you, right, first off, to save your time, if you've seen my first impressions video. You've pretty much seen exact. You already know exactly what I'm gonna say. As my opinion hasn't changed with the game since, really, except for like one or two little things, which I'm gonna go on to now. Right. I made like a little list to make so I to make sure I actually cover shit which I want to say, which is organization for once. All right, first I'm gonna go straight into this. What the fuck is with the story in this game? I mean. One minute I'm racing and being attacked by a chopper with a minigun on it, then I'm being chased by mob members, and then the dog's trying to bite my face. It just doesn't make sense. And maybe I missed something somewhere, but it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's so retarded. And like, it seems to focus so much more on action. Since when? I was just sure Need for Speed's always been a racing game, but according to the run, it's just not. And that kind of, in a way, leads on to like, the focusing aspect. Like, why does it focus so much on the audio log? I mean, yeah, if that's your thing, that's cool. But for a lot of people, they don't really care what best times are to other people. They just want to play the game. And it's like, it genuinely pisses me off that I see the audio log every time it's in a load screen or every time I'm on the main menu. Give me the fucking option to turn it off. It, it just doesn't make sense. Or like, like to hide, you don't even turn it off, just hide it. Then I can turn, then I can show it, reveal it when I want to. But it just doesn't let you. And then like, the worst thing is, is you're staring at the audio log for so long just because the load times take weeks. I, I genuinely felt myself age during those load screens. <laughs> It's beyond a joke. It's like uh, the thing is, like I can't say. Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of things apparently. Um, the levels, like the the general races on this game, are so frustrating. As all the cars turn like tugboats, which then leads to like the more technical tracks. You just get fucked. And there's like all the, oh, the muscle cars are better for turning, for, for straight lines. But for some reason they're not, they're better on corners, I've, I've discovered. And that doesn't make sense. And, uh, it's just the number of times, like, there's a certain level later on in the game. I would say spoiler, but it's, a, it's not a real story, it's a fake story, so it doesn't count. Um, but you're being chased by a fucking chopper with a minigun on it. And just like, oh, that, the police wouldn't do anything. It's not, it's like a mob minigun, apparently. The police wouldn't do anything. Nothing's being said. It's just, it's just another day in the life. A minigun, chopper, blowing shit up. And it's like, why? <laughs> oh, it's so, right, I, I'm, I'm going to choke this out there. It is a bad game. I, I, when I, my first impressions videos I did on it a long time ago, I was like, it's not a bad game, it's, it's, it's an average game, it's like, you know, mediocre, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't say no if you found it for cheap, but I've decided now, it isn't that, it's a bad game, it genuinely is, because it's coming after, like, the fucking greatness that was Hot Pursuit, and now it goes on to this bullshit. <sighs> Bad times indeed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think I'm gonna do more of like, I think I'm gonna go back to more obscure videos. Cause that's so much more entertaining. Like the ice road trucker. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.